Hi guys, James here. Uh, I am the substitute for Eric for Wednesdays. Uh, Eric has asked me to do a collab video with him, so thank you very much, Eric. Uh, this week we're talking about herbs and oils. Herbs and oils have various uses. Uh, they can be used medicinally. They can be used uh, for aromatic effect to sweeten the air and scent the air. Uh, and they can be used for magical purposes. I've been a student of aromatherapy for about four years. I'm constantly learning new things about them. Uh, but the aromatic use of herbs is something that, that I really, really, really enjoy talking about. Different herbs have different properties that are supposed to create different results within the person who uh, is using them. Uh, for instance, uh, a lavender and eucalyptus mi uh, mix is used to uh, get rid of depression and uh, to give kind of a general happy feeling. Um, citrus, citrus oils such as like lemon or orange are meant to stimulate uh, the senses and to kind of wake, in, wake you up. So the first thing that I do a lot of times is uh, when I wake up, I will burn some orange oil kind of to get me, you know, up and about, or I'll rub it uh, a little bit, because it's very potent stuff, a little bit on my temples and various pulse points um, on my hands and, and whatnot. Uh, that really, really helps me a lot. You can make tinctures, uh, which also kind of border on the, the medicinal purposes, but that's basically combining herbs with alcohol, so a clear alcohol like vodka. You can make uh, ritual soaps out of herbs as well. When I use herbs and magic, I use a lot, make a lot of teas and a lot of potions and things like that. Um, I also, if I'm charging an item, so if I have uh, like a necklace that I want to charge with a specific intent, or if I have a talisman that I want to charge with a specific intent, a lot of times what I'll do is I will burn the, the herbs on a charcoal burner um, and then physically put that item, that talisman, that you know, jewelry, whatever it is, into the smoke to allow it to absorb the smoke of the herbs, to absorb the properties of the herbs, and to charge that item with those properties. I have a lot, I use a lot of herbs. I love herbs. I make herbal teas. I grow herbs. I, uh, I love herbs. Oils, I'm personally not a huge fan of using in, in magic. I use them more so in aromatherapy and not so much in magic. Um, unless I'm making like an anointing oil where you want to uh, add essential oil to a carrier oil such as olive or grapeseed, something like that that you would use to anoint your candles or to anoint um, various ritual items that you may use. Uh, but I'm just, aside from that, I don't use oils a lot. Um, I do have some favorite herbs that I really, really like to use. Um, I really, really like to use sage a lot. I love the smell of sage. White sage, um, desert sage, or, you know, just regular green sage. I really, really, really love sage. Um, and it's used, of course, in, like, cleansing and, and removing and, of negativity and things like that. And it smells really, really good. I love mint. I use mint as much as I can um, in various different, uh, uh, like, spells and, and rituals and things like that. I, it's a resin, but I love dragon's blood. Dragon's blood is, um, made from a, a variety of different plants, but, um, you use that to give, like, the extra oomph to magic, so give it a little boost, and it smells really, really good when it's burned. I just love herbs. I mean, I, it's kind of sad. My herb collection, which you'll see shortly, is very limited right now. It's because I'm broke, but, um, I have some, some herbs that I transplanted that are actually at my friend's house um, that I'm going to pick up. They're in big planters and things like that. Um, so I'm really excited about that, and I'll have more herbs towards, like, later, after the spring, um, in the so summer. So here's my cabinet of my stuff. It's not super-duper full. I mean, obviously, there's it's lacking the top couple shelves. But uh, these are my herbs and oils and whatnot, um, and I'll kind of go through them uh, real quick. Uh, this is oregano, which can be used. I mean, it's a basic kitchen herb. Uh, this is like four bucks. It was super cheap. Uh, oregano is used in uh, things for harmony, for tranquility, and for protection and psychic development. Um, this is green sage. Is about the same thing. I just I didn't. This wasn't big enough to hold all the stuff that I had, uh, which is used in cleansing and vanishing and things like that. This is hibiscus flower, which is used. Um, it's used in love and sex magic. Uh, this is 
dried rose leaves, which is used in um, obviously love spells and 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 uh, sexual magic as well. So these definitely go together. Uh, this is frankincense, and it's really old, and it doesn't you can't really smell it anymore unless you burn it. Um, I use frankincense just as kind of an a all-purpose incense when I'm doing ritual uh, tr to make the air smell nice and to be pleasing to the spirits and to the deities that I'm calling. Um, so yeah, this up here is actually chili peppers, which it may sound stupid, but I use that in magic. Um, it's like red pepper, um, and I use it if I want to spice something up. And I know that sounds really stupid, but um, I don't know. Anytime, anytime I'm doing magic that requires extra energy or um, a lot of spice, I use that as a symbolic uh, gesture. This is sesame seed, I think. I don't know. Um, this is lavender, which is kind of gross. I didn't let it dry all the way before I bottled it, so I probably should clean that at some point. Um, this is sweetgrass, which is used uh, in for offering to please the spirits. This is an empty bottle. This is um, an anointing oil I made. This is lavender oil that I have. This is in the wrong place, but this is anise seed, which is used um, uh, for prophetic dreams. And so my oils, which are very limited as well, I have uh, lemon oil, wild chamomile, which by the way is expensive. Look at this. This bottle is what? You can't really see. This bottle is... I don't know. Can, I can't bring it into focus. It's twenty four eighty five. This was twenty five friggin' dollars. Not cheap. Um, rose water, which I use just as a fragrance. Um, sometimes I'll put it in a bath if I want a nice relaxing level bath. I'll add that. Uh, this is orange oil uh, that I use to in the morning to wake me up. That sort of thing. And then you have sage, lavender. Um, I have dragon's blood. Can I get it open with one hand? without spilling it everywhere. Yeah, Dragon's Blood. I've had that for years. I use it sparingly. Um, Kananga water, which is used in the hoodoo tradition. Really, it's, it's, it's a bunch of essential oils and um, like fragrance oils and stuff. And then I have Florida water, which is kind of the same thing. It's missing its label. Um, and just in case you're curious, this is seawater that I collected from the ocean uh, and my vitamins. So. And then I have a bunch of... Um, it's like bottles and stuff. So, you know, whatever. What is that? More hibiscus flower? Good God. Okay, so there you have it, my cabinet. Thanks, James. That was both informative and entertaining. So, you didn't leave me anything to say, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into my apothecary cabinet here, which is what we're looking at. Now, rubbed sage. I like rub sage because it's easier to uh, stick in the port in the mortar and pestle, and get that all to you know grind up nice and fine. I also use dragon's blood. I keep quite a bit more than James does on hand at any given point in time. Apparently, uh, ja dragon's blood is one of my favorites. It is also actually just made out of the dragon tree from Japan, uh, processed and whatnot. I keep white sage. I just buy that. Uh, this is wild desert sage. I actually collect this usually around midsummer or maybe um, every year up in the mountains here in Salt Lake. Uh, this is my smudge pot. It's got a little lid so that I don't spill it every time. But I just drop my charcoals in there and then grind up my herbs and drop them in on top of the charcoal while that burns. Um, my elemental mix. Now I mix my own herbs for different purposes. This elemental mix is for um, starting energy when I'm when I'm doing a ritual. If I'm not in the uh, mind space to to start said ritual, yerba is for concentration and divination purposes. Uh, it's it's got a lot of stuff in there. My friend Steven mixes that for me, so I'm not sure what all is in it. Uh, when my friend Stu died last year, year before last, uh, I was in charge of the funeral, and we made this uh, passing incense which is it's absolutely fantastic um, if you want the recipe let me know but it's also really good for Samhain. Um I also keep evergreen in here I'm trying to go really really fast because I don't have a whole lot of time but uh, most of the 
Most of the tools, like these little jars, just this this one's an empty, but these little jars, you can buy these at Ikea for two fifty for a set of four. Uh, my mortar and pestle right here, I don't know how well you can see it, so I'll pull it out. Mortar and pestle, ten bucks, Ikea in the kitchen wires. Now, I think I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to go ahead and say thanks for watching, everybody. And again, James, thanks for helping me out with this video this week. And until next time, everybody, Odin be with you.